How yeah. Go? I just like look back over and I'm like drive, drive. <laughs> drive as normally as you possibly can. Drive, drive, don't make, drive, don't drive, drive, drive. No. <laughs> slower, slower than that. Blur the car's it. going. Floor it. <laughs> Meanwhile, it's, it's I'll give you what I promise, smooth. and I will. I will give uh, um, John Johnny Low the extra dose that I promised. Oh God, he's he's feeling. He can have whatever. You don't have to take it, but I told you that we would. Um, I do you have the like... sleeping darts and the chloroform? Yeah, that's in the next move, most definitely. Um, as yeah, he, if he figures is... out what's going on, then yeah. Oh yeah, I'm, I'm tossing the. Want an indicator? Oh yeah, I'm gonna toss the the vial of halos so he tries to catch it. Uh, if he tries to catch it while he is distracted, eyes in the air, uh, I am literally going to just toss it forward. Toss a sleeping dart forward. <laughs> okay, I am going to roll dexterity for him. Yeah. And you give me um, a he fumbles. <laughs> oh boy! Yes. It's a halo. Um, he's he's just had a lot of halo today, and is is just very like. Um. So if you want to go ahead and roll me an attack. Yes. It. Okay. Oh my gosh, my die is going everywhere. I'm so sorry. That's cocked. I'm gonna use this one. Okay, I got an eleven. And is that Dex? Plus my dex um, modifier? Yeah, plus your dex modifier. Okay. Plus two. Thirteen to hit. Uh thirteen does hit. Nice. Um, so you you basically just creep up as he's like, where'd they go? Where'd it go? It like rolls under a plastic lining. He's like, where'd Yeah, go, where'd it go? And you just go, and he's like, sleep. Yeah. So as you head out of the driveway, you are supposed to be meeting the other um it's actually it's a it's the other lawyers essentially it's mostly the brokers who are here to try to break the contract they need to stuff but you're supposed to meet him in the caldea um in an abandoned warehouse and so uh as you pull out you you hear uh you start hearing more people yelling as like where'd he go what do you mean a lot you just let him go what the hell is wrong with you <laughs> And, That's right. Uh, right. Rewind a little bit, but like on our way out the front, like I yeah. give like a a little like nod to the the person at the front desk who I yeah. like. And I, I throw him, the I throw him another tip again, just to be like, oh, hey, thanks. thanks for being cool. <laughs> yeah, I mean, gosh, you're squinty. Everyone knows you. You're so cool. Um, and and so you you do that, but then the <laughs> these two. So eventually, what happens? Is that you, you? As you pull out of this expensive Park Heights uh, neighborhood, uh, tearing from around the corner um, is another car, and it's heading straight towards you. It's not the car that you sabotage. <laughs> Dang! It was, it was just a random dude's car the entire time. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> I'm no. not getting home tonight. <laughs> <laughs> that's the, the post-credit scene is some reason. Yeah, that's the post-credit scene. Like, it's like a little wind shield wipers oil. It's like a really oh, little, little, little wind shield wipers. When I get cool. home, I'm going to retire tomorrow. And just like windshield wipers of oil. <laughs> <laughs> My husband loved this car. Oh, this is all I have left to remind me um, of the good times we had. <laughs> Flash forward to... Yeah. Um, what looks like a much more businessy looking car. Sure. Um, yeah. I see For this like, out the back window and I'm like, kind of ladies, gentlemen, I believe this is where you take over. <laughs> and you do uh, see one of the windows roll down and one of the guys uh, that you saw earlier um, take out a, a firearm and actually try to shoot at the car. And this is when we're going to get into Louise. Heck yeah. Um, huge thank you to GM Binder for handling uh, the stats for what a battle is in a car chase. Oh my gosh. So, Which, uh, vehicle are we going to use the economy? Um, you are using, um, the, uh, you're using the, uh, we, we you are using the doubles, uh, whatchamacallit, right? Okay, we're going to use that one. Cool. That's Thanks. your car. They have a sports coupe. So, um, initiative? 
Um, they they got like a surprise round on you, so they're just gonna hey. I'm just gonna resolve this real quick. And that was a crit. Um, oh, so it's no. going to um roll. Let's see, Are they attacking mm, us. Lucky anyone? They're lucky? trying to blow out your tires. Um, dang it, that would be nine damage to the car. Okay. Uh, that car will only, it's got a damage threshold of five, so I think it only takes four. Okay, great. Uh, you do, um, see a, uh, an iridescent, like, ping off of your window. My ride! <laughs> and with that, let's go ahead and roll initiative. All right. Okay, sweet. Five. Oh Three. my gosh. <sighs> oh, Nine. I'm rolling so well tonight. Not me. Okay. Not surprised, though. <laughs> <laughs> we have to be polar opposites it's necessary <laughs> it is known this is the only way this game can go down yeah um so i'm sorry uh could everyone please uh read off that they got again i got a 23 23 oh heck um i got a nine okay i nice. also got a nine nice. uh who has the higher decks i do I would assume. <laughs> Being yeah, a monk. Dexterous lawyer. I have plus one dex. Yeah, I think I'm plus three. Okay. Yeah. Okay. And um uh, Jimena got a seventeen. Nice. Let's go. Um, we got it. So um with regards to Luis, Luis has her own initiative. Um, and that's what you're going to be using. Um, so that will be the turn. Uh, where you would need to make any um, basically driving checks, but also if you sure. wanted to do anything special. Mm -hmm. okay. um, so if you want to go ahead and roll that for me, um, it's basically awesome. just a d20 plus her dex, and I'm going to be doing awesome. the same with this sports coupe. It is a 17. Okay. 13 plus 4. 13 plus 4. Hey, Amanda, what's your nice. um, dex? My dex is 15, uh, so plus 2. Plus two. Okay, so Luis does go before Jimena. Gotcha. Okay, and then just resolving. Um, okay, then. Whew, okay. All right. With that, let's go to the top of the order. Marlo. <laughs> Okay, so how close is this other vehicle? They, so they've just shot at Louise. They've just shot at Louise. They managed to get a uh, dinger a little bit. Um, at this point, you are, um, you both are off of the, out of this neighborhood, this gated neighborhood, essentially. Okay. Um, and you are basically, you're, at this point, you tell me, are you trying to book it towards the highway? Oh, I'm booking it. Um, so if it's uh, for the and vehicle component, is that on my turn? Is that my move action? Um, it would or be Luis's action. Okay, cool. So I can just do um, so my, my turn as normal then. Your, yes, your turn is normal, and then Luis has her own action. Um, and the same with their car. So uh, basically, uh, they are about... Gosh, uh, your car moves fast. The car is also fairly fast. And you got a bit of a head start. I'm going to say they're about um, 100 feet behind you. In gotcha. Closing. Okay, run. awesome. So this is what I'm going to do. Um, for one of my actions, I'm going to cast out uh, what cast I'm going to use Eldritch Cannon Force Ballista. <laughs> so what this does, <laughs> is, <laughs> what this does is this allows me to basically create a sort of like a turret, like a moving walking turret, except what Marlo's is going to do is the trunk is going to open and this little uh, sort of like clockwork harpoon gun is good. Like a turret is going to appear out of the trunk uh, of the car. And as a bonus action, I can use it to attack. All right, you um, push it's a got button. A range of 120 feet. Okay, so um, yeah, you basically have like a Bond car. <laughs> yeah, I have a Bond car. <laughs> yeah, and uh, yeah, so yeah, pops right, so, uh, pops right up. Uh, looks a little bit like a raccoon. <laughs> so as as my bonus action, I'm gonna actually attack with it. Go um, ahead. It's a, uh, I think it's a, it's gonna be a spell attack, I would assume. Mm -hmm. um, plus eight. Let me just roll that. What are you attacking? I'm going to attack, so I, wanna, so I want to disable their car. So I want to actually shoot the, um, actually, you know what? I want to shoot through the window at the driver. Okay, the driver mm. uh, currently has three quarters cover. Yep. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. um, so I'm going to, 
Where is this? Yeah, it's on this. Okay, here we go. So I'm going to fire an attack. It will do, if I hit, it does 2d8 force damage, and it pushes the creature five feet away from me. So if I hit, I want to I want to literally impale them, and push them out of the driver's seat. All right. You are <laughs> dealing with three-quarters um, cover, so please Okay, go so ahead. it's a 20 total, dirty 20. <clears throat> okay, and their AC is... Oh, it because of of the bonus with the quiver, unfortunately, it you manage to pierce the windshield, but it hits like the um <clears throat> it hits right next to them essentially. Can I deal damage to, to the vehicle then? You can deal damage to the vehicle, yeah. Okay, sweet. So it's gonna be two d eight damage to the vehicle. Uh, it's a uh, eight damage to the vehicle. Okay, eight um eight damage. Nice. On yeah. my action, uh, I'm going to just, on another action, can I, um, so because Marlo's got, like, all these, like, Marlo is, like, tripping out right now, like, really, really hyper. Marlo is actually going to, um, you know, the, like, the glove compartment. Marlo's going to open up the glove compartment, and there's actually sort of, like, a, a latch that Marlo opens up, and it reveals the street below, and I'm going to cast, I have this spell, I'm going to cast Grease on the road. <gasps> Um, oh, nice. I'm a straight up Bond car. Uh, I'm gonna cast Grease on the road uh, and just pff, keep driving. Can you can we read me out what Grease does again? So slick Grease covers the ground in a ten foot square centered on a point within range and turns it into difficult terrain for the duration. When the Grease appears, each creature standing in this area must succeed a Dex saving throw or fall prone. A creature that enters the area or ends its turn there must succeed a Dex saving throw or fall prone. Okay. Uh, I would imagine that they wouldn't notice since it's a high speed vehicle chase. Wow. Depends. It depends um, on what they do when it's their turn. So, okay, but that's sweet. really good because we do have um, another thing I want to let you know, according to the uh, GM binder, we have stunts. Mm. So um, basically I would, I would classify this a, a moderate stunt. Um, so they would need to hit a DC of 15, 15. in order to avoid. Okay. Sweet. Um, so um, I'm going to have that do it on their turn. Uh, but I love that. That's really, really well. It done. Also, happens to be my the DC for the spell. Amazing. So that <laughs> yeah, that's really my well. turn. <laughs> so now it's their okay. turn. This this group is now flying oh, with a freaking okay. harpoon in its windshield, and it's going to try to avoid it. Um, they do manage to avoid it. the The driver is freaked Dang. out, but keeps his cool and just makes a quick little like, just bumps around it into the next lane, gets back in, still behind you. Um, now at about eighty feet. Wow. Um, and let's see. Do, 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 do. It is not a bond car, so it's not going to do anything fun. Um, so I'm going to now go to Luis. Boring. Luis. It's just a normal okay. car. So, it's not um, been tripped up by the Obscura. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, what I want to do is, so what kind of weapons does everybody else in this group have? Like, I know we have a mall. <laughs> uh, javelin, Javelin of Lightning, that kind of stuff. Okay, so thrown weapons. Yes. What's up, Lewis? I also have uh, two serving trays. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Improvised weapon, love it. Yeah. Um, okay. I I am a warlock, so I can start blasting. Eldritch blast. Okay, cool. Um, I think on Louise's turn, uh, Marla will like uh, pop open the windows. I saw there there was a new Capenna card where the when, when the windows are up they look like wings like iridescent wings. Yeah. Uh-huh. Um. So I'm gonna like pop pop open the the doors so that my like companions can start like blasting outside. Um, and then what I think I'll do is can. I don't have much in terms of that. Can I just like just surge forward? Yeah, you can give me basically a dash action with that. Uh, yeah, yeah, I'd like to do that unless you would let me use marlo's spells as the driver but i think that would be unfair no it it i uh, no it has to be specifically a car related situation okay, when it gets to the point i i would like i mean i do have the ability to burn out eventually i would i would like to yeah i'll, I'll do that eventually i also have the jump ability so if there are ramps please tell me <laughs> <laughs> yeah absolutely um yeah we're still just gonna first, keep dashing yeah. we're still in the first round so we'll see what happens um uh jimena you're up. Windows are open. Wind's howling. Uh, You've got an unconscious embezzler in front of you. Absolutely. Uh, oh, gosh. How far are we away? 
At this point, you, um, Luis has surged forward. So now you're about 100, 120 feet in front of the other car, but the other car okay. is closing in fast. Okay. Um, how? Okay. Okay. Question. Um, yeah. I, I have a question. Or, sorry, I have something to bring up, which no is. No worries. Go ahead. Uh, if you would. I guess I'll, I'll just, so, okay. I mean, okay, I can I've say got, they're closing in and they're actually about 60 to 80. How fast are the cars? The cars are pretty fast. Um, so ours is 120 feet for mood speed. And that's every hmm, okay. um, seconds. And then they are 150 miles. Uh, it says 150 miles an hour, um, which is, I'm going to say roughly the same. Jeez. Yeah. Not, yeah. Yeah. Okay. The uh, I was just wondering because I can cast if you wanted to if you wait until my turn, I could cast fly on both of you. Um, this we might true. be going we might be going so fast that your fly speed won't let you keep up, but nope. you could still get onto the back car and <laughs> cast fly running. on me. Okay. Yeah, so cool. I think I, I'm, I'm a throw smiter. flying rocks at the car. I'm a smiter, so I kind of it's it's so cool. because that's what I was gonna ask was like, is there a way for me to do this on a ranged attack? Uh, because it very specifically okay. says melee attack. But if I should I just hold my turn and yeah, do so that? you would both have to hold your turn until I win, which I think is the last of all of us. But thanks to the halo, so fly I can cast at a third level, but because of the halo, it up levels me one. And so fourth level, I can hit two targets. Yeah, yeah. So I can yeah. let you both fly, and then right, I you won't be able to like fly along with the car in terms of like keeping speed, but no, you can fine. use you can use fly to get onto their car, and then you can just right. start beating them. Yeah, exactly. that's, that's, that's what the plan. Exactly. Yeah, that's that the plan. Sounds right. like a good idea. I love uh, the visual so of this. I like the fun. idea of still going at this turn, like this turn order right now so i won't like delay my turn but i'll hold my action on the future uh, the next yeah turn, like yeah. I'll, I'll just do that okay um i'm gonna have you go then i mean if you want to hold your turn like i'm gonna have you go right after squiddy cast the spell yeah that works perfectly okay. perfect amazing so with that we go to uh one of the bodyguards who then pulls out um who who basically uh just again is gonna try to hit your tires as, as much as possible because you've got someone they actually care about in there um, so they don't want to necessarily sure. turn the car. Boo! Stop caring. <laughs> um, if I use, whoa, the, whoa. I use, if I use the shield spell, it, it's a a round. It protects me, but like Louise is like an extension of Marlo. Wow. <laughs> Just... Daniel, no. I don't know about that. <laughs> that was a little weak for me. <laughs> yeah. This small, this big. I thought car. I'd ask. I thought I'd ask. No, I love Good that you try. asked. Good try. You love the hustle. I tried. I tried. I tried. Yeah. You yeah, love I'll the hustle. They missed. They judge, missed. So the judge. Nice. Yes. <laughs> judge. Oh no. Oh god. I was an acting judge for LGS for so long. It's like yes. Um. <sighs> so they miss. Uh. We go then to Lil Rice. I imagine you want to hold your turn. Mm -hmm. Okay, Squid, you're up. All right, I'm gonna cast fly. So the uh, um, so as we did, we this hasn't this hasn't really come up in the session, but something we talked about when we were making this character concept is that um, I'm a warlock and my patron is like the underworld of the city. So when I cast spells, I'm actually calling in favors from people I know who I worked with before. So what I'm gonna do is this fly spell. I'm gonna call in two fairies that you know i got off the hook like a couple years back and these two little fairies come in and they like you know like pick up the two of you and so now you are both flying you have a fly speed of 60 feet and so and it's concentration so i have to drop suggestion but he's already been knocked out so i don't care about that so now i'm just going to concentrate on it's like thanks buddies and the little two fairies are like you got it and they like so now the two of you are flying cool amazing, amazing. okay you uh see wings appear and because it's halo inspired um they are you briefly see like these beautiful stained glass uh wings appear as um both of you get out i'm actually going to need both of you to make dexterity oh, um yeah. so so we're going to start with uh humana you're going to make a dexterity check to see cool. if you could land on the second car okay oh my god i'm dropping dice okay i'll get back to that or i'll forget it later either way <laughs> Uh, I rolled a 15. My dex 
save um is plus three okay yeah i also realized that i had the same stats when i was a from when i was a rogue so i i realized that i did not change those um so i it's switched okay. around so my dex my dex was my strength and my strength was my dex just just that uh so it's a plus three it's plus three um, okay yeah and you got total i got a 15 uh 18 total 18 you make it um you land on the hood of your car. You. This is exactly out of Black Panther. Um, <laughs> yes, it's yeah, yeah, straight yeah, out of Black yeah, Panther. Yeah, 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 and, yeah, yeah. and it's great because I. I don't think I've said this so far, but I'm literally a snow leopard tabaxi. So I have this like menacing lithe form, and for nice. me to do that, like my claws scrape into the metal. Oh, yeah. uh, these tiny fairies. <laughs> What's, I have no what, idea. What's that percussive noise it makes? Like, dun, 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 and you're just like yeah. landing on that car. <laughs> but yeah, it's it's out of nowhere. Like, it's a dark night. You see that the uh, you know the uh, the lights on the highway are like, uh, are like light dark, light dark, light yeah. dark. And yeah. in a moment, you see it's like in a moment of darkness, you see like the wings bloom and then thunk as the light. Uh, as the next time this uh, this car enters a patch of light, you see uh, Humana on the on the hood of the car, yeah. with her spear, looking so angry. Oh yeah, <laughs> Lexi is Okoye. <laughs> I am. 100%. I literally 100%. that's this character. Humana is just Okoye. Uh, oh my gosh. Okay. Uh, do I take my turn? Yeah. Yeah. Go for it. This is uh, your time. Amazing. Okay, cool. So I think that I'm going to take my javelin. Uh, yeah, I'm going to take my javelin um, that I have like in my hand. I'm going to spit it around over my head and then pierce it through the window. Yeah. Okay. Like try to stab into the window at whoever's driving or in the passenger seat. You're making. Okay. Um. Okay. You need to make a decision. Are you going to go at the driver or the passenger because there's a bodyguard the rocks bodyguard is there there is a third person you haven't met before uh kind of just uh, he's actually uh, he's another raccoon <laughs> yeah <laughs> oh amazing which is how he's so, which is so nimble <laughs> which yeah. so nimble would the driver have raccoon. would the driver being like because there's that javelin that almost impaled the driver would they have a disadvantage or anything um they, they, they would have as well I mean, I would basically at this point, uh, you would, I mean, they don't really have cover because yeah. you basically busted awesome. the windshield cool. on that side. Uh, great. So I will just go at the driver uh, with my javelin. If I hit, I'm going to go two times. If I hit, I'm smiting um, big time. So the first time it is a 14 to hit. 14, unfortunately, does not hit. Okay. Um, so I will do the other uh attack as well jeez <gasps> i rolled a 19 plus 5 24 to hit describe to me how you impale this raccoon driver <laughs> <laughs> oh. raccoon driver wasn't 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 on the uh, halo oh yeah <laughs> um i say uh what what do i say i think that what i do is i literally take the javelin and I poke it inside, and it like the driver moves out of the way the first time. I take it back out, and then literally like drive it through the front, like window, at this raccoon driver. Um, and I think I'll just say something like, uh, uh, "Oh my gosh, I can't even think of any Fast and Furious like." You don't even have to say anything. Yeah. Your character is. I think she's cold. just silent. I think she's just silent. Yeah. yeah. Um, Amazing. Yeah, so I uh, think Squiddy's in the car and is like, no one-liner? Respect. No one-liner. <laughs> yeah. I, think, I think this whole time, Squiddy, you, you're like looking out the window, Stick your around. tentacles are like flying. In the yeah, the Stick tentacles around. are flying. Yeah. And, yeah. <laughs> I'm, just, I'm watching to see how they do with my fly spell. As yes. you smash the window for some reason, Kendrick Lamar's song is playing. Yeah. Somebody's up on it. Just immediate. <laughs> yeah, is um, there any music that you're playing, Marlo? Has <laughs> any of this is happening? Oh, Marlo's got some just like really. I feel like Marlo's playing some like really like low key jazz to try to like chill out. <laughs> oh, I think like, old old I, this car music. that I it's the like car, old oh, yeah. music. Like, yeah. I think when like we got some... in the car, we handed you the record, the the oh, newly we're playing released the new one. record. Yeah, so we're playing the new one and. 
it's not helping you at all because it's like really like energetic electronic oh, yeah. jazz. What's funny? Yeah, I feel like the car that we landed on yeah. is absolutely bumping Afrobeat. So we're in a oh, different yeah. movie entirely. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah, no, no, no. It's like you you leave Grimes. I mean, I was about to suggest like something like Kenny G, but you know, yeah. if you want to go with Grimes, it's totally oh my god. <laughs> but yeah, oh, as soon as you god. land, you hear like that thump, 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 genre shift between uh -huh. okay. we just oh, like cut so between great. the two cars. Um, so right. I roll 1d6 damage for piercing damage for my javelin. Um, mm -hmm. but I'm gonna tack a searing smite on here, so that's gonna be 2d6 extra. Um, because I'm casting it at a second level. Um, and then they're gonna take that raccoon would take 1d6 damage at the start of its turn until that spell ends. For the purposes of this card chase, this raccoon is still alive. Yes. But this car no longer has a functioning driver. Yes. And that's going to be a problem next round for them. Nice. Um, with that, Hail Rice, you can fly now. Yeah. I can, I can fly. All right. Let's you do this. Fly. You can fly. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to grab my mall out of the... <laughs> out of the uh briefcase like in one fluid motion and like leap off the car uh like you know Again, just you big old boy like re yeah just big old boy reaching his mall like far extend out like like an nba jam yeah. and then as the car comes like <laughs> towards me i'm just gonna like come down Ooh. like big shoulders coming down you're gonna see my ass lift up in the air above my shoulders because i'm just going like over my whole whole body when that happens like the jordan's logo it's like the yeah. jordan's logo <laughs> briefly but with a mall but then it turns yeah. like this with your ass yeah oh. and i'm just smashing down on the bodyguard in the front just like bring it all that pain um let's see uh so it is a kensai weapon <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no. um, so I am going to have proficiency on it, obviously, and then let's see what do I need to do roll here. It's been a while since I did it. Obviously, that one with the blade inside. Okay, once per turn you hit. Okay, so I think I just have to. I'm like I just have to do something. I have to. I was swing it. Yeah, swing it. Swing uh, it. Twenty one uh, to hit. Okay, you're hitting the car. I well. I'm hitting, I'm trying to hit the glass. I'm trying to hit the glass basically where the person in the front uh, seat, not the driver, the passenger, passenger? side, like mm -hmm. smash through glass and hit him at the same time. Cause I feel like the glass might be pretty weak against the hammer. So that's kind of what I'm going for. It's already it weakened. Is. Yeah, the other it's side is already weakened. smashed. So yeah. it's easy. So uh, um, this person only really has half cover. So go ahead. Uh, you, you said you rolled a 21? Yeah. Okay, that is gonna do it. You managed to this. It, it just all every round is six seconds, so it's just like it, it in slow motion. Time time slows for a minute. You land on this car next to Humana. Humana uses giant rocks to sort of thunks down on the yeah. next to you. Nice. You my claws extend into the metal. Like I got claws extend to the metal as you you hold on, you grip on. Um. And uh, Little Rice, you don't even notice Human is next to you because you're just focused on um, oh, yeah. Little Rice Smash. Um, your mall just goes into the glass, and you see, you know how like window show glass, like it, it pebbles, like it mm -hmm. fractures, it pebbles, mm -hmm. and then it just bursts outwards. Um, fragments of glass glittering in the night, off and on, off and on, as you as they speed through patches of light and shadow. The um, the mall continues its trajectory completely unfazed by the window shield and you see your fellow rock sitting in the front um mouth slowly starting to open in like terror and defiance <laughs> like as your ball just collides with his face uh so he drops the rifle I, I roll 14 damage. I'm going to use one of my key points on top of that to add another d6. Um, so 18 damage in total. And then because I'm a rocks, I can use goring, wait, hammering horns. So after I smash down with my hammer and like some of that momentum like gets me up in the air, like my feet levitate for a second off the ground of the impact. 
I'm just gonna point my horns down towards that person who I just smashed and just like just completely like take him out of the equation. <laughs> yeah. Okay. All right. Um yeah, you wait, so you're trying to describe to me. Are you trying to get him unconscious? Or are you just trying to like Oh, um this is just this is just the riveteer way. I don't know. I just went all it's ham cool. on one person. That's cool. Yeah. So you go ham on one person. Yeah. That's totally fine. I agree. Yeah. Yeah, no, yeah. no, no. I just, I just want some clarification. That's all. No judgment. Mm -hmm. Um, yeah, you, you take, you basically he as you maul him, um, and also gore him. Um, he looks down, and this this dude's not okay. <laughs> He's not okay. Sweet. Um, and yeah, the two of you are now in the hood of this car, and uh, you look up though. And you notice that there is actually a third person in the back. Um, looks like the dragonborn that you saw earlier, and he's got a gun. Um, and with that, let's uh, move to him because he looks think, at the two. Um, go ahead. Like Squiddy, Squiddy is like you know, cast line is like, all right, go get him, and like just like sees them both like immediately just like jump to the other car, and destroy <laughs> the church, the two people. He's like. Yeah, good crew, good crew. <laughs> <laughs> Only the best. <laughs> Marlo. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> um, so he's going to try to shoot you, actually, Little Rice, because you are definitely the scarier right now with what, you, what you just did. Sure. <laughs> yeah. I am rolling like, wow, okay. Yeah, Um. He he misses in terror he misses that the hand that's holding up the halo gun it it um basically he he tries to fire a magical bolt at you uh -huh. and hit but his hand's shaking you know the best the best weapons in the world ain't no good if you're too nervous to use them right mm -hmm. so um he he misses and we're going to bring it back up to marlo marlo you have seen from your rearview mirror what just happened <laughs> what would you like to do oh yeah i'm going to so uh we have we already know where we're supposed to go to to bring the target yeah right? and at this point you are you are now taking an exit the exit's right up ahead to go down to the caldea okay um, so yeah we'll like direct line exit. to the caldea and as we do that i'm gonna use i'm gonna first use my bonus action to use the um eldritch cannon uh to fire at the vehicles since the shit's going down there i mean oh, i don't know if we're allowed to curse um <laughs> stuff's going down <laughs> okay. okay well we just fucked you. up their car thank um, you god so <laughs> i guess thank you <laughs> um i'm gonna fire a javelin at the um i want to hit like i want to see if i could hit like the hood of the uh of the car to... uh i will point out you've got two of your friends on the hood right now oh uh, that's okay i missed oh okay <laughs> oh <laughs> cool Marlo, marlo's like marlo's like limitlessing right now oh, yeah. um, the world is your yeah. oyster <laughs> nothing can go wrong <laughs> Thing. um okay so what i think i might do is um i can't really i think i might kind of i don't know if this is the chaos that the group wants so i want to ask first marlo kind of wants to turn the car around and drive backwards um, that's a stunt my friend uh, you wanna you wanna do a uh, stunt yeah, for I, me can I, can I do a stunt yes. yeah um, yeah stunt for me know. i'm gonna say that that is wow where's the stunt chart it's uh it's uh is it moderate or hard i'm gonna say it's hard because okay, cool. uh you are moving really fast and what you're essentially doing is you're going to be drifting i'm gonna drift yeah and then yeah, what i want to do is i want to pull up my pistol and i want to shoot my pistol at the uh at that rocks. Oh yeah, this is totally hard. This is a hard one. Okay, cool. This is a hard one. Um, so can I use int? Because I'm because I'm like trying to be real smart here. Um, it's, sure. The rules say the rules say usually dexterity. Yeah, it's usually mm -hmm. dexterity, but drifting is in I think specifically something you really need to calculate. Yeah, that's so that's I'll, kind of. I I'll let you I'll let you for the sake of Han, um. Okay, so <laughs> I rolled a three plus seven is a ten, but I want to use my reaction because I have an ability uh, called. Hold up. 
I have an ability called Flash of Genius that lets me add four to the roll. So it'd bring my total to 14, which would just be one, way short. Um, okay, here's the compromise I'll make with you. Okay. Um, you can make the drift. Okay. You are going to 100% fumble that pistol. So I can't attack. Yeah, I'll, I'll sacrifice the attack to continue driving backwards. Yeah, yeah. You, you, could, you drive backwards, and then you start arcing. Oh yeah, yeah, I'm like going, going off the exit. Yeah, going off the exit, you're just arcing, and it's it's beautiful. It's beautiful. Okay, cool. This lets me set up what I want to do next turn. Okay, great. I'm glad we can come to a compromise. Um, Thank you, Michelle. Of course. <laughs> We're family. No. <laughs> <laughs> We're family. <laughs> We're family. <laughs> um. All right. And now it's that car's turn, and that car ain't doing too hot. No. So, um. Let's see. How do I how do I pilot a car without a driver? Um, so what I'm going to do you is don't going, you just so don't you use. So on page two so, of that document, Michelle, there's rules for crashing. There is <laughs> rules for crashing, um, mm-hmm. but I am going to uh, roll to see where it goes and how it gets there. So I'm going to roll D4 real quick. OK, so it doesn't flip, which is good. Uh, but it starts to veer off to uh, the right, um, and it's going basically towards the guardrail of the highway. Um, and let's see. Mm. Uh, there's no one there to keep it from crashing. So um, let's see. It's going to make a DC 10 constitution saving throw. <laughs> uh, nope, it's crashing. Um, <laughs> nice. And I'm going to need, okay, so here's the thing. Jimena, Lil Rice, this car is crashing into the guardrail. Perfect. What would you like to do? Do you want to get off there? You want to hang flying. on? We fly in. We fly in. You're, you're asking me about it and there's a guardrail. I'm trying to get this thing off the guardrail. So if you're yeah. asking me, I want to smash the hammer like, as push. it's connecting. Like I want to be on the opposite side of where it's hitting the guardrail. So that I could take the hammer and like smash it down to the car, so it actually flips over the guardrail. Yep, I'm oh, I'm also down to take my turn to help push it off the da- the guardrail. <laughs> yeah. If that's what we're doing here. Okay, in that case, I'm gonna need you both to make dex checks. I feel like this is only fair because you're yeah. not just trying to jump off; you're trying yeah. to do things, and you're and sure. that's gonna require staying on this car. Sure. So please, as it starts to uh, veer off and then turn. It's almost doing a donut, but not quite. Um, yeah. It's just adding our dex modifier Dex'd. then? Yeah. Okay. I got an 11. Damn. Um, I don't let's have see it. if there's anything I can do monkey. about that. I don't think I have anything for monkey stuff that I can help me with that. So, no. Uh, what kind of, is this a saving throw? Um, yeah. Uh, hey, you know, Lil Rice, if you, you know, you're in my aura of protection, so if you can get a plus one bonus to your saving throw. It gets me up to 14, because we're using the saving throw mod, so it will get me up to 14, essentially. Yeah, I can't really do much else, but that. Okay. So that's what I got. Okay, so let me just check the strength modifier of the vehicle. Okay, so here is what's going to happen. Um, unfortunately, you did not make the deck saving throws necessary to yep. stay on the car. So sure. um, you're going to get flung off the car. Sure. Um, let me go ahead and roll me some roll some damage for y'all. Unfortunately, would this damage still apply for flying? Um, the decks would basically, okay, well, you described to me like that you wanted to stay on the car in order for it to like move. Like, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm definitely, definitely down to take damage. Like, I do not care. Uh, okay. I have 90 hit points, totally down for it. I just wanted to be sure that we still had fly cast on us. Oh, cast you still cast. have fly. As oh, long okay, as Squiddy's cool. down to hold on to that, you have fly. Oh. 
Great. Cool, cool, cool. Uh, but this point suggestion is off, but of course Johnny is out, so it yes. doesn't really matter. Um, it's only one d10 of damage, so actually, um, Will Rice, uh, you only take one, and uh, ooh, unfortunately, Humana, you do take nine. I think just the nice. way it just crashes up against the uh, the guardrail. Um, and yeah, uh, Luis, uh, the car. What do you want to do? I mean, the, the, I mean, we're driving backwards, so I see that, right? Yeah, you see that. Um, and there's still uh, rocks in the back of the the crashed car. There is another dude in the back of the car, yeah, but it is crashed. <laughs> okay, cool. I'm. I wanna. I wanna ram the car. Cool. Go ahead and do that. Yeah. I just that there's I mean we could just drive away but I don't want to abandon everyone and I guess I mean what would Squiddy want what would Squiddy do uh <laughs> I'm trying to think of this, like, like holographic kind of raccoon in the back goes to, like, to the back it's just like what do you want to do <laughs> where are we going boss um I think I think ramming it is fine I think that um again it's like a thing of weird initiative but it's like if we're gonna just like ram it straight head on then Squiddy would be like, all right, give me a second. Because he would just, like, try to, like, jump out of the car just so that he doesn't, like, get blown up in some kind of, like, accident. I would like Cal to I, I would like to remind you that you do need to deliver this man to the Celtic. <laughs> oh, okay. Actually, like, sure. we just keep driving backwards, then. We just, keep, we just keep going backwards. Okay, you just keep going backwards? Um, Jimena, uh, what would you like to do now that the car has crashed? You take a little bit of damage. Uh, I'm gonna take my sleep darts out and try to throw it at the dragonborn. Go for it. Um, okay. So since I get two attacks, should I just roll two times for yep. different darts? Cool. That's gonna be, okay, a natural one-on-one. -on -one. <laughs> one misses. But a 15 plus, uh, if it's the dex, then it should be plus two, 17 to hit? You hit him. Okay. Um, I'm sure it's probably like 1d4 damage. I'm not super worried about the damage. I'm worried about the dart putting I them to sleep. sleep. Yeah. Yes. Um, put them to sleep. The second that I know that the dart hit, I am going to uh, hmm. um, he is basically pinned in the back because he mm -hmm. was buckled up like a, like a good new Yeah. <laughs> um, I will lean in the car and unbuckle him and then uh I don't think I'm I don't think I should leave anything from the maestros here. So I think that I'm just going to like uh unbuckle him in the car uh and then start walking away. Like literally like walking in in air away uh <laughs> and say <laughs> little rice whenever you're ready to join me. Um, and just start walking back towards the car. <laughs> I'll I'll join. I don't know if okay. there's anything else we need to do. So, yeah, uh, he starts he starts nodding off. Let me see if he heard that name. Uh oh. Mm. <laughs> well, anyway, you both head back. It was a car. dream. <laughs> All right. Squiddy like has opened up his briefcase and like retrieved like a form. It's like a a standard like police report form that like is basically like what the brokers use to like explain away any stuff where they're like, oh yeah, well I'll just like file this tomorrow and then like we won't have to worry about this like you know high speed chase. Um, and because Squiddy's like, yeah, like they they've got to handle. They don't need my help. <laughs> this is the part that I'm good at. <laughs> <laughs> amazing okay so yeah as you clamber on in with your um with your prize person and squiddy uh pull like basically instantly filing the appropriate paperwork um marlo you uh and everyone's drive towards the caldea where um you pull up to a at this point it's pretty late there's a single flickering streetlight next to this old warehouse where you see um, a bunch of uh, motley crew of people uh, you recognize from like could be from a good number of the different families who knows but they're all dressed similarly in kind of drab clothing and uh, as you open the door one of them like comes over and raps politely against the the window 
You got the goods? Oh, God, what happened to you? I'm not going to ask. I feel incredible. <laughs> yeah, you do, <laughs> says the vampire who knocked on your window. <laughs> anyway, uh, you got the goods, him? though. You got the goods? All right, we're here to take care of it. I'll, I'll help lift, because, you know, I'll help lift John, Johnny, uh, and help them with that. Yeah, you, you basically, um, you know, with more care than he really deserves, um, lift Johnny as he is then placed into the arms of a, of a waiting, um, of a waiting rocks, uh, who, who nods at you. And this, this crew takes Johnny and brings him into the warehouse and your part in this is done. And as, uh, they walk into this warehouse with this person barlow you look at your um meter little gauge little metal gauge as the numbers start to move no 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 and it's just like you know like when you see the numbers in the stock market it's like, like ticking uh, it's, it's like, like uh, ticking uh, <laughs> and you see it go down to 25. wow a quarter mile at a time <laughs> yeah <laughs> <sighs> so um you all basically have the rest of the night and you've got uh and there's usually one place that's uh known far and wide for its really really Hell good yeah. pasta specials <laughs> and endless breadsticks it always comes back to the olive garden baby <laughs> always <laughs> and so we our last scene is on um we see Luis parked in the parking lot in like the VIP section Ooh. of of what is the um the olive the faint grove. glow of halo coming olive out grove. of the driver's side faint, oh, yeah. from, you see like a little trail <laughs> little, of halo, like trail of little, little, little yeah. like footprints Jeez. <laughs> and in the back room that's normally reserved for wedding receptions and things like that. You see one table with a nice cushy velvet booth. Uh, we follow a waiter as they, a uh, human waiter as they walk in with a, uh, basically a giant tray full of food, <laughs> so many carbs, as they, they put it down in front of all of you and say, all right, is there anything else? Um, apparently we're charging this to this card i guess and uh they they uh, look at uh and they look at a business card and um it's actually declan's business card <laughs> he just gave them love that the <laughs> uh I'm just i was hoping that it was johnny lowe's card yeah right. <laughs> we just turned him over and then also took Low his credit account. Card. um okay Amazing. well if any does anyone want to roll a sleight of hand to see if you 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 stole his credit card slide of hand, absolutely he was knocked out yeah i don't need to roll for that Okay, yeah, no. Okay, who did it then? <laughs> no, roll. We just have roll. no remorse. I'll just take it. I'm not even sleight of handing it. I'm just literally just like reaching into his pocket. And it's like, well, he won't be doing yeah. this anymore. Uh, <laughs> yes. Amazing. So yeah, before before the account gets closed down, he exactly. basically hand over this like black metal credit card with gold lettering <laughs> <laughs> to the the waiters. Like, nice. so uh, just everything on this. Yeah, yeah. and keep them coming. Chill. Oh gosh. Okay. Yeah. Parmesan, got... please. Break six. The whole thing. Oh, yep. Oh, all right. Over here. And uh, another waiter comes down. They start, uh, you know, placing platters in front of you. You've got the special marinara um, sauce. Uh, it's it's a good time. So, yeah. What what are on your minds as uh, as you end up uh, end out this night of high, uh, high stakes, high society, high speeds? Another What's day up? on the job. <laughs> uh i probably little rice is gonna actually try and make a deal with squiddy to get a nicer place for himself and his family that's <laughs> that's that's what i'm doing we'll work something out we can a, a lot of jobs come through me i'm sure that we can get you something nice <laughs> marlo you're you're just covered in halo and little oh, rice Mar marlo is like Mar your, your clothes Marlo's are just kind of beat up Marlo is like small size, so Marlo has probably never consumed Halo before. And Marlo at this point is passed out. <laughs> like it's like the the sugar crash, except that that just Marlo is just like passed out, so like holding breadsticks. So many breadsticks. 
And in I, your little raccoon hands, they yeah, look like little, little baguettes. Hands. They're like baguettes. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Oh my gosh. <laughs> and I think has a, has a bite out of it. Yes. You took one bite and then passed out. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, 100%. <laughs> Oh my gosh. Uh, and I think Jimena just takes that locket and uh, cracks it open one last time and just says one last job and just stuffs her face with pasta. Hell yeah. <laughs> it's like Fantastic Mr. Fox where he's just like <laughs> <laughs> literally eating so much. <laughs> The uh, Squiddy's definitely like a slurper, as I said, but like, like as like one noodle. <laughs> There's how they get it all in one like that. <laughs> it's just like one long noodle. It's like um, it's a, there's a traditional Uyghur noodle dish. Yeah, it's just one long noodle, yeah. and that's you. Yeah, that's, that's I, what you got. I'm just grab like the the wait tables are having a hard time with me because I'm just grabbing. Sometimes if it's a certain plate, I'll just grab the plate and slide it down and like grab yeah. a bowl and just bam. Oh, keeping the yeah. luckily it's a it's not it's not well you actually arrived after closing but you because you have this Ooh. amazing amount of money <laughs> they're, they're keeping it open nowhere's ever really close <laughs> this is true um and yeah this as the um as all of you um sleep eat slurp <laughs> your wonderful and well-earned carb loaded dinner um we follow the tinkle of this beautiful little song as um the camera zooms out from the table through the window out onto the sparkling night um far above the streets of new capenna and thank you all so much for joining me on this incredible adventure mm. um one of my favorite planes in magic. Yeah. Needs more love. Yeah. I know we're back yeah. on like Dominaria, but like no no shade, but like New Capenna is way prettier. And uh, mm -hmm. true. we need to come back. Yeah. We need to Ginny come back. Fade, yeah. The outfits are nice. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah. God. No. So beautiful. <laughs> Incredibly gorgeous. Well, um, let's go ahead and go around the table. Where can we find all of you? Um, Chris, thank you so much for not only um, playing with us but also your amazing work on this set um mm -hmm. thank you so much for the advice and insight you gave me um thank as you. i was trying to build out the plot and whatnot for this particular show. i i not just working there but also just as a fan i'm a huge i love magic world building i you know i'm biased of course but i think uh the magic world building team is one of the best in existence um oh, yeah. And I think that uh, um, really getting to like one of the best ways I think to explore game worlds is through role playing games because you get to see little stories and things that maybe you know uh, we didn't get to highlight uh, in the in the card set, but they exist and, and you can have fun playing with them yourself. So I really Sweet. love doing this. Um, uh, at least for as long as it exists, you can find me on Twitter at Chris K Mooney, <laughs> um, and uh, that's the. That's the main, my main social media. So uh, Chris at Chris K Mooney on Twitter. Uh, if you want to get in touch with me, I love talking with fans, seeing what you guys love, answering questions uh, as much as I can. So yeah. Brilliant. Thank you so much, uh, Michael. Where yeah, do we find uh, you? Yes, I'm Michael Sinclair II, Michael Critz everywhere. I'm a TTRPG performer, a voiceover actor, and a Magic the Gathering semi-pro. Um, you can find me at Michael Critz for everything I do. And then I'm on Fae Forge Academy podcast, the 5e podcast that drops every Friday. It's very wonderful. And then I'm also part of the Nuts and Bolts podcast, a podcast about primarily Standard and Pioneer. So if you like listening to those type of things, uh, catch me there. And that's most of my and Into the Motherlands on Wednesdays. We're currently still on. Uh, so we have those episodes dropping every, er, live on Twitch and Cypher the TOS channel every Wednesday. So that's where you can find me. Yay. And Lexi, what are you up to? You such know, busy, I am such a busy person. I'm literally everywhere awesome. doing everything all the time. Um, but yeah, you can find me on Twitter over at Black Girl Mage. Um, that's where I talk about dungeon mastering. I talk about uh, tabletop RPGs. Um, I and magic sometimes. Um, but for the most part, I am the dungeon master for the all black HBCU inspired Strixhaven campaign called uh, literally Strixu. Um, it is dope. I am 
DMing for it. I am writing music for it. I am editing it. It is a live thing. It's very fun. Uh, you can find our VODs on YouTube. And yeah, that's that's kind of where I'm at right now. Yeah. That's what I'm doing. Just Try. that's all you're doing. <laughs> that's all you're doing. <laughs> <Okay>. One person <laughs> production DMing. <laughs> Wild. You're right. You're right. You're right. Wild. <laughs> oh, that's all. That's all. That's, that's it. it. Yeah, no Just carrying deal. this whole thing on my back. <laughs> You're amazing. Uh, no, you. Um, speaking of amazing, hey Daniel, what's oh, up? Um, hey, I'm I'm Daniel. Uh, yeah, you could find me on Twitter um, at Daniel H Kwan. I'm the, that's my social everywhere. Um, I do lots of things. I am the co-host and showrunner for the Asians Represent podcast. Uh, so check that out. We have a lot of we have a lot of content out there. Um, so if you're interested in like archaeology, if you're interested in Asian cultures, if you're interested in how you can play tabletop RPGs and other games more respectfully, check out the Asians Represent podcast. Michelle is on it a lot. I miss y'all. <laughs> it's a good time. I miss screaming into my pillow because we, we see such yeah. outrageous nonsense. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. We, we, we read old content and we talk about how we can make it better. Um, yeah. Yes, we do amazing so good <laughs> well last but not least hi i've been your dungeon master michelle um you can find me on uh i'm i'm basically what a, i do gming like this on occasion um i am a big you can catch me on kiln fiend potter on twitter where i chat a lot about my cats uh D, &D magic the gathering um i'm also expecting at the moment so i will soon be I, I make tea TTRPGs and apparently also be I will have a human. I will be making a human very soon. I'm actually making a human Aww. right now. It's wild. Um, but uh, when I'm not doing that, you'd actually find me uh, performing on um, Valor's The Woven um, every other Friday evening where I play um, Tui Le, who is basically a stitch witch and uses her um, embroidery and fabric manipulation powers to keep her party going and alive <laughs> very important in this world uh but yes if you want to see me play my magical girl dreams um check me out every other friday on um valor uh which is written by a really good friend of ours liana mckenzie so with Hello, that yeah liana woo um with that i'm gonna go ahead and bid everyone a good night thank you so much adam um and to the saving throw show for having us on yeah. this has been a wonderful mm -hmm. evening Seriously. it's been so so great and such an honor uh with that we're going to bid you all farewell don't be uh, uh don't be don't re uh remind yourself to go drop something in the co in the coffee coffee mm -hmm. co coffee um <laughs> uh be sure to put something in coffee Bye. Wi-Fi, No one knows. <laughs> but be sure to put something in there. Just um, help. God. Just help because this is yep. an amazing channel. That's done amazing things for an incredibly long time before Critical Role, before Dimension 20. They were saving through us. So please support, uh, please support them. And we will see you on the internet. Bye, friends. Bye. Do crime. Bye. Do crime. Be gay. <laughs>